That Burmese pythons have devastated native wildlife in the Everglades. Researchers turn to tech, hoping robotic rabbits can lure the snakes out. Something strange is happening in Florida. Hundreds of robotic rabbits are hopping through the swamps, but they aren't toys. They're a bait. These lifelike solar-powered rabbits move, smell, and even feel warm like the real ones. And their mission is to trick and trap the giant Burmese pythons that have taken over the Everglades. For years, these snakes have killed almost every small animal in sight, and nothing has stopped them. Not hunters, not traps, not even trained dogs. So, Florida built an army of robotic prey. But no one could have predicted what happened next when machines stepped into nature's fight. To understand this, Let's go back to where it all began. The invasion begins. It started quietly. A few missing pets, strange tracks in the mud, and sudden silence in the Florida swamps. Then, within a few years, entire populations of animals were gone. The Everglades, once alive with birds, raccoons, and marsh rabbits, had turned eerily empty. The cause? Burmese pythons. Massive snakes, some stretching over 20 feet long, that didn't belong there at all. They weren't native. They were imported as exotic pets in the 1980s and 90s. Small at first, easy to handle, but as they grew larger and stronger, owners began releasing them into the wild. Others escaped during hurricanes, slithering into freedom. Florida's warm, wet climate became their perfect home. With no natural predators and endless prey, the snakes multiplied fast. A single female can lay up to 100 eggs each year. Now, tens of thousands move through the swamps hidden among the tall grass. The result was devastating. Studies showed that marsh rabbits and raccoons dropped by over 90%. Even alligators began losing fights to these powerful invaders. The balance of the ecosystem collapsed. Florida became a silent battlefield, and the pythons were winning. So how do you stop a predator that never sleeps, hides perfectly, and multiplies endlessly? That question pushed Florida to try something no one had ever imagined. Florida fights back. By the early 2000s, Florida was in crisis. Burmese pythons had taken over the Everglades, killing nearly every small animal in sight. Traps failed. Poisons were too dangerous. And the snakes were impossible to spot in the thick swamp. In desperation, officials launched the Python Challenge, offering cash for every snake caught. Thousands joined the hunt, but after weeks of effort, only a handful were captured. The snakes were too fast, too quiet. Next came professional bounty hunters, paid by the hour and by the snake. Even with experience and better tools, they barely made progress. The Everglades were too vast, and the pythons always stayed one step ahead. Costs rose. Frustration grew. Florida's ecosystem kept falling apart. Scientists realized they weren't dealing with a simple animal problem anymore. They were up against an invader built to survive. So, they changed strategy. The next move wouldn't rely on traps or prizes. It would rely on something far smarter, something that could smell what humans couldn't see. And that's where the story takes a surprising turn. Dogs join the hunt. When hunters and traps failed, Florida turned to a new ally, trained dogs. In 2020, wildlife officials introduced detection dogs to track Burmese pythons across the swamps. These were not ordinary pets. Each dog was trained for months to recognize the scent of live pythons. Even the faintest trace of snake musk in the mud was enough for them to react. The first two dogs, Truman and Eleanor, became legends in the Everglades. Within weeks, 
they located several large snakes that hunters had missed for months. The results were impressive. Dogs could find pythons hidden deep in the grass or water within minutes. They worked faster and with higher accuracy than any human searcher. The success gave scientists hope for the first time in years. But the challenges came quickly. The Everglades is harsh terrain with heat, sawgrass, and deep water. The dogs needed cooling vests, protective boots, and constant care. It was dangerous work, too. A single strike from a python could kill them in seconds. Even with their speed and skill, two or three dogs could not cover a million acres of swamp. Scaling the program would cost millions and require hundreds of trained handlers. The dog experiment proved one thing. Creative methods worked, but not forever. Florida needed a new plan, one that could survive heat, floods, and danger without rest. And that idea didn't come from nature. It came from machines. The robot plan. After years of failed hunts and costly programs, Florida's scientists realized one thing. To catch a python, you had to think like one. That meant using its instincts against it. Researchers noticed that pythons were most drawn to one animal, the marsh rabbit. These small mammals had nearly disappeared because of the invasion. So scientists began using live rabbits as bait in controlled areas. It worked. Snakes approached the pens within hours, but there was a serious problem. The rabbits often didn't survive. The method was cruel, expensive, and impossible to manage on a large scale. That led to a new idea. What if the bait wasn't alive? Engineers and biologists teamed up to create robotic rabbits. They looked and moved like real ones, even producing body heat and scent. These decoys could trick snakes without harming animals. Each robotic rabbit was built to survive Florida's heat, water, and mud. Solar panels powered them for weeks, and hidden sensors sent real-time data to wildlife officers nearby. It was the first time technology had been used not just to track, but to hunt an invasive species. Would the snakes fall for fake prey? Or had they learned too much from years of being hunted? To find out, the first batch of robotic rabbits was quietly released into the swamp. Strange reactions. Within hours of releasing the robotic rabbits, the unexpected happened. The cameras picked up movement. The pythons were coming. One after another, they slithered toward the decoys, drawn by the scent and heat. Some attacked instantly, wrapping tightly around the fake bodies. Others stopped midway, circling as if trying to understand what they were facing. A few turned away completely. For researchers, this was shocking. It was the first time pythons showed hesitation in the wild. The footage revealed detailed patterns, how they approached, how long they stalked, and how they reacted to unfamiliar prey. The robotic rabbits were doing more than trapping snakes. They were changing behavior. Scientists began to wonder if the snakes were starting to adapt. That possibility forced a hard question. If predators could learn from machines, how long before they stopped falling for them? What happens next? The robotic rabbit program is still small, but its impact is growing fast. Early tests have already helped capture several large pythons, including egg-carrying females that could have added hundreds more snakes to the wild. The data gathered from the robots has become just as valuable as the captures themselves. Every camera feed and sensor report shows how pythons move, where they hide, and when they breed. This information helps scientists predict future hotspots and plan faster responses. Still, the challenges are big. Each robotic rabbit costs thousands of dollars, and maintaining hundreds of them across miles of swamp isn't easy. Engineers are now testing cheaper materials, 
stronger solar panels, and better scent systems to make the decoys last longer. Florida's battle is far from over, but for the first time, the odds are shifting. The machines are learning faster than the snakes, and this experiment may not just save the Everglades, it might redefine how humans fight invasive species forever. The robotic rabbits are only the beginning. Engineers are testing smarter versions equipped with heat sensors, scent detectors, and tiny AI cameras that can instantly alert teams when a python approaches. Drones may soon join the system, scanning the wetlands from above while the decoys work below. Together, these tools could create a live tracking network, turning the Everglades into a monitored battlefield. But experts warn, every time humans adapt, nature finds a way too. The snakes are learning. They're moving differently, striking differently, and forcing scientists to evolve again. To keep up, Florida must think faster than nature itself. And that challenge is only just beginning. Florida's battle with the Burmese python has lasted for decades, but for the first time, there's hope. The robotic rabbits have proven that innovation can stand against one of nature's toughest invaders. Still, the question remains, can technology truly outsmart evolution? Or will the snakes adapt again? What do you think about all of this? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Also, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming stories. Until then, see ya.